In this video, we're going to take a quick look at where the basic color correction tools have moved to because they're no longer in the same place as they once were. Now, if you want more information on color correction, we do have other courses covering this in a lot more detail. This is really intended as a quick refresher for those who are comfortable with color correction and just want to know how to adapt to the new release. Now, if we take a look at just this particular clip, and you'll see the white dot is on this clip, so it's reflected here in the inspector, I do have access to a color board with a slightly different little icon, and also sharpen, but there is no longer a color section there by default. And if I was to option click on another clip, just move that explicit selection and the playhead, then I'll see there is no color section there at all. There's an empty effect section, but that's all. Same thing if I deselect the clip and leave the playhead above a clip, so the white dots there. Again, the inspector is showing me what is on this clip and there's no color section. So how do we add one back? Well, the thing is, they've moved color to an entire new effect. And I can still add it from the magic wand choosing Show Color Board. So if I do that, it's going to bring up the color board as you'd expect, and I've got my standard color, saturation, and exposure controls, and in here, nothing's changed. So I could bring up the brightness, I could bring up the midtones, and crunch the shadows down a little bit. I could maybe turn saturation up in the shadows a little, and maybe shift the entire color a little bit more towards orangey-yellow. So all of that is still fine. I can still step backwards like I used to, and now I see the color board is here. And I can jump back in, jump back out in a similar way to the way we used to. But if you're starting from scratch, there is no color effect up there. So how do you quickly and easily add that color board effect? Well, the simplest way is simply to use the same shortcut you used in the past, Command-6. Command-6 will add the new color correction effect, or indeed it is actually now an effect. You can look in the Effects panel, Go down to Color, and you'll find Color Correction. This is the color board, and you'll need to add this to a clip one way or another, either by dragging it on explicitly, or simply by hitting Command-6, which is a fair bit easier. And then you can adjust the color, just as you might be used to. So you may also be wondering where has Color Match and Color Balance gone? You can still access them from this little Magic Wand menu, and you can choose Balance Color and Match Color if you want to use them. So Balance Color is the same as it's been. It'll do an automatic correction of not just color, but also brightness in the image, which in this case for me is a bit too much, and you still can't turn it up or down. I'll turn that one off for the moment. And Match Color, if I want to make these clouds look like these birds, or this water, or this other beach shot, or this young girl, then I can try that, and it may or may not work. It is quite effective in some circumstances. For example, the same camera with similar content at different times of day. But in this case, it's probably not quite going to do what I want. These now exist as separate effects. The only thing to watch for is you need to select them from the Magic Wand or Enhancements menu when you have a clip selected. I'd still recommend most of the time you'd be going straight to the color board, and Command-6 is now the quickest way to get there. You may also be wondering why they did this. Why does the color board need to be a separate effect? Doesn't it just work in the same way as before? Well, no, it doesn't. Now that it's an effect, you can apply it before or after other effects. In the previous versions, it always landed at the very end of all the effects. So, for example, a broadcast safe effect on this clip, it needs to be last in the list. And previously, any changes made to the color board could override the broadcast safe effect. It was last. So now that color can go before broadcast safe, broadcast safe can actually do its job of, in this case, clamping the highlights back. And it can all be done now on one clip, which wasn't possible before. There are also some new techniques to do with masking, and we'll look at those in the next couple of videos.